Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to change the light frequency on the AR4214 and the AR4224 receivers. Um, we have found that from the factory they default in to 1310 instead of 1550 like we most commonly use. And what we have found is by changing them uh, with this USB cable to your laptop, with the Aurora software that we are gaining uh, anywhere from a half a dB to as much as 2 dB of MER uh, across the spectrum. Um, so like I said we found out these default in 1310. Um, you do need the uh, Aris OptiTrace CMS program installed on your laptop. This particular DT4250 requires the uh, micro USB um, plugged in. There are another version which I'll attach a picture which there's a serial or a auxiliary port there. And there you use an auxiliary to serial adapter for that guy. So the first thing you do once you're connected with your USB cable, um, confirm it says USB in the bottom. Uh, because if, like me, I have multiple types, um, you can switch back and forth to the RS-232 cable or the USB. Um, you hit start pulling. And as soon as your slot one lights up, mine already is. Um, it'll tell you down here what slot it's pulling, so it's already been through number one. You hit, just hit stop, because there's only going to be one slot for this one node. Uh, yes, you want to stop pulling. Once it's stopped, you just click on that, number one. You enlarge the screen, and then you have your virtual node lid. Um, it tells me I've got stuff in slot C, B, A. And then there's nothing in F, E, and D. And sure enough, as I look here, I have, well, A, B, C, and then there's nothing on this side. So that's totally accurate. Um, by looking here, it tells you what's in the slot, an AR4214G, an AR4214G, and then the DT4250N. There's nothing you can do to configure the transceiver, but you can the receivers. So you hit view, and there's a slew of information here, light levels, temps, uh, but what we're finding, or what we have found, is this level right here, which is the WL1310, needs to be changed to 1550. So you select there, select the box, and then hit accept value. This is about a 10 to 15 seconds once you hit select value. After it runs its course, you hit refresh. <coughs> waiting a quick second you hit refresh confirm your value stayed it did close then you go to your other slot same thing change it from 1310 to 1550 on your wavelength select the box hit accept value <clears throat> there is other information here there is the optical power this one says it's at negative 4.3 uh, against my light meter in a couple instances where I have tested this is extremely close uh, to the actual level. So again, 10 to 15 more seconds, hit your refresh and it's done. It's locked in. And then all you got to do is hit close and you're on to your next uh, next node, next adjust, adjustment. Um, again, we're gaining anywhere from a half dB to two dB uh, by doing this uh, on our Aurora nodes with this style receiver. Uh, the original receiver, which I'll, I'll tag a picture of, uh, there is no adjustment to be made on those. 
Um, and those are believed to be set at 1550 as a default.